Yes, so good day and welcome once again. As you can see on the screen, it's the advice. And this advice goes out to people who are in a relationship or who wants to get in a relationship. You know, yes. And um, it is also for the people who doesn't have a relationship but know that at some time they would have a relationship. So I think it is wise to be prepared somewhat. You know, most of us wish we were prepared for relationships, you know, but um, we weren't and some of us learn it as we go. But I'm going to give you this advice. First of all, let me say this. If you are my lady and uh, we are about to start a relationship, or in the beginning of a relationship there is one advice I would give you ah uh, let's say the first advice I would give you you could give me an advice so no problem but the first one I will give you is to stay away from the snakes mm -hmm. the second one I would give you is stay by my side check up on me you know it is your duty to do so you know, it is my duty to also do that, you know, and we should be doing that without any negative feelings towards each other. You know, some people, like the guy will call them and where you at, you know, and they feel somewhat, you know, different because he might call them and ask them that. Women do that a lot and some guys will say things like, you know, she's tracking him down. Let me tell you something. If you are, you are in a relationship, in a good and positive relationship, a woman has the right, some people will do it overly so, right? But a woman has the right to give you a shout, you know, try to know well how you're doing during the course of the day or where you're at at the moment. No, that is important, okay? A man has the right to do that. If you are in a good relationship, there is nothing like he's tracking me or she's tracking me or anything of the sort. You know, check up on each other. Because I do believe that is the reason, that is one of the main reasons that the world is in at this moment you know you remember eve mm -hmm. i remember eve you remember adam i remember adam too now the scenario we got in the book eh, is that basically eve went off on her own because if she didn't went off on her own then most definitely Adam would have been in a position to stop her from doing what she ended up doing. Okay? So she went off on her, on her own. I don't know what Adam was doing. Maybe Adam was naming flowers and naming animals and stuff all caught up in his work and fail to check up on his entrusty what was entrusted unto him. So as a result of that, she ran into snakes. Or oh, the snake. The snake of all snakes. And when she ran into the snake, because she was doing it all on her own, you know, she felt that she was independent. She could go and get her own food, you know. So she went out there and she got food and she did bring food to her, her husband which poisoned him and her at the same time. So because of that, you find that the world is in that state as it is today. Now, if you notice, people have this idea that they could be in a relationship and still be independent even independent of the husband or even independent of their their wife then if that is the situation believe you me that is not 
a marriage or a relationship according to the most high and that is satanic mm -hmm. that is satanic you remember adam did everything that the most High asked him to do he take care of the animals he take care of the plants he did all his work except the one thing he failed to do was to keep his woman in check you understand now it's the same thing happening now and currently the fact that adam ate the same food that she ate that caused the whole crash it is a, at this point where both adam and eve are both the male and, and the female are in the same boat so she need guidance as much as he need guidance what i am saying is this that when you are in a relationship it takes two persons to build that relationship not one person it takes two persons once you get yourself in this relationship or you are interested in this relationship then it takes two persons right most of the time sometimes one person initiated it you know depends on how the person might feel at the moment or the conviction that a person might have at the moment but once it is heading towards a relationship like that then the other person must step in and it will be about the beauty of the most high so in other words the man will have to be looking out for the woman the woman will have to be looking out for the man it is important that is how you build relationships now as we live these days as we are in this world in our communities it is easy to point out the snakes there are people out here all they do all day is snaking you understand and i will tell you women believe that when i tell you this if you have a friend have absolutely no conversation with any woman about your man absolutely not don't ever do it anybody who initiate a conversation about your husband your man your lover whatever cut it off you understand have absolutely no conversation outside your house about what is going on inside your house or inside your relationship men the same thing you don't go out there and have any conversation about your woman to anybody i will tell you without a shadow of a doubt when that start happening that is a cobra that is smiling at you and before you know what is happening this thing will infiltrate your home your relationship and you will start having problems you will start find that your wife start quarreling you will find that you you are not even interested in coming home because these people are actually putting that snake spirit on you that demonic spirit that snakes have you understand eventually you'll have to go to the other's phase about relationship and what does scripture say about such relationship when the woman start quarreling and everybody like start fighting he say it is better to live in the corner of a rooftop than to live in a house with a quarrelsome woman mm -hmm. men are quarrelsome just like women these days so then it goes either ways why because they ate the same thing that caused them to die okay so that you find is it's a breakdown it's a breakup it's a mashup it's a spoiled relationship and what i realize is that when people are in such relationships and then it become toxic like that you don't really get better you know mm -mm, it just doesn't you know because that special thing that usually join your people together sometimes because of wickedness you know because of wrong because of evil you basically cut that card you know 
sometimes the card might be able to rejoin you know but it take a complete change of thinking it's like you will have to have this renewal of spirit you'll have to be born again basically you have to be a totally different person both parties for that to happen serious it could never ever happen you know with the same kind of attitudes you all have you know you'll have to be born again it's as simple as that it won't happen in the way you all are right now and that's the absolute truth right so you'll find that in your relationship if you want it to last if you want it to be the kind of relationship that will honor our Elohim and honor yourself both parties have to be in the front line you see both parties have to understand that it's a relationship they are trying to build you know it's something they are working on and nobody should be included in that building except the most I yeah because he is the center of all relationship if the most I or Elohim is not in the center of this relationship then you leave a place open for snakes and believe you me they would come because anywhere and I'm telling you the absolute truth anywhere something good is about to happen any anywhere whether it is in a relationship whether it is in your work whether it is in something once it is good and it is uplifting and it is godly watch the amount of satanic demons that will be coming at you it will be too much not too much for you because the most i never give his children more than they could carry but i will tell you this they will be coming at you until you might reach the point where you say oh god why has thou forsaken me you will feel as though you're standing there all by yourself with no elohim serious that is how dangerous these things are okay so it's the same in a simple term if you are trying to build a relationship all of a sudden you'll realize all these kind of people will come and make an input whatever you want to do everybody want to come and make an input in your relationship that is satanic people those are demons nobody has them you understand they just know they sense something beautiful is about to happen and trust me they come to make their investment so we have to be careful people if you want to have a relationship be fearless my scripture tell me perfect love cast it out all fear I'm saying that again be fearless you want to build a relationship be fearless you don't be afraid to call this man or call this woman and say where you at how you doing don't be afraid to do that it's not about gifts it's not about monies it's not about buying this and buying that and you buying this and i buying that that is joke even the heathens do that you understand if you consider um the relationship you want to be something that worth it trust me reach out you have to it's important it is urgent you understand perfect love cast it out all fear you understand and if you doesn't love somebody then you just wouldn't care it's just that the person have have to have the wisdom to know it's as simple because most of the time sometimes we people go behind people we run them down we do stuff they don't really love us no nah, they just don't but we don't even thinking about it we only thinking about our own self you know i want this person that person just don't want you you understand so you'll find that later along the road you might actually walk a witchcraft on a person all of us call it witchcraft when you basically convince somebody to be in a relationship you manipulate somebody to be in a relationship i will call that and i always call it as a matter of fact witchcraft 
that won't last and you will never have a genuine relationship that way believe me when i tell you it will never be genuine ask anybody who went in relationships so how that going now anybody you understand maybe if it's still going strong and the two people are wise enough to build it actually build it instead of working witchcraft on one another they actually build the relationship here yeah. but the majority of relationships like that don't work because sometimes people don't like you they see you first impression they don't like you but you start to show yourself and get in on like satan like you are the angel of light you convince them and next thing you know boom you're all in a relationship you're all having sex and after a while that just fade out just like you all sex you just fade and end of story you jump on to our next one like a parasite so you don't really need that you know what you need is people that are genuine in your life and genuine very genuine you know people that are not scared you understand to call you and talk with you let me tell you something in a relationship is equality it's not like how most people thinking everything is the initiative of the man or anything is the initiative have to be initiated by the woman no it's nothing like that it take two people just relax yourself and it take two people and build it you know and that is how it's supposed to go but i'm gonna tell you my advice here if you are in a relationship or you're about to get into a relationship or you want to get in a relationship as I said earlier, let the person stick with you like glue. You understand? And you stick with a person like glue. Glue, glue. Don't be afraid to call them 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in it and say, oh, you're sleeping good. Or? Don't afraid. Trust me. Don't be afraid to do that. And if you do that and the person upset, there is a problem right there. I'm saying this to say that you have to be caring for that person sometimes the person the, the, the person just run across your mind heal the person you don't know sometimes they're just thinking about you or they want you to talk with just give them a shout it's as simple you know it's as simple do you don't have to be nagging because there is a difference between nagging you know you have some people they have a habit of just nagging you and stuff like that it's not nagging you know you, you you know you don't have to be nagging and always just calling people for nothing whatever nonsense you know but if you just call hey are you send a text for that person i just want to know just checking up on you you know just letting the person know that they are not alone in this world and you are there you know it's important you see so that's where it's at for the moment you know so i'm gonna say Bye for now, and this is my advice to you for now. Be at peace, be blessed. I will most definitely talk to you soon again.